I aspire to be cat-like. My cats are, I, would, I would wish I had half the dignity of my cats. <laughs> I lived in Long Island City in a loft and there were all, all kinds of street cats in my area. And I wasn't even a cat person, but I started noticing the cats and I wound up feeding the outdoor cats with my neighbors in an empty lot on my street. I thought why well, it would be so great if we could create an environment like our cat area where people could come and hang out and fall in love with the cats and they could hopefully hook up with people to take them home. It's amazing how many healthy animals are just destroyed because there's no room. So this show is kind of like answering that sense of urgency. The Habitat is, is a performance piece, P-U-R-R, -R, performance piece. But my initial focus for the show was this environment, this habitat with artist design pieces for the cats to use. It was actually, my idea was much more of an interactive kind of installation where you go in and you hang out with the cats on pieces designed for the cats. And it was an, it would be an interspecies hangout kind of thing. The black diesel um, covered tubes. And these are um, sh custom artist shipping pallets made by Joe Scanlon. And they're covered with um, carpet that Gerhard Richter designs. So this is Gerhard Richter carpet and and I think it took the internet explosion really recently when cats you know became so popular on the internet that people kind of were more open to the idea of that having actual cats in an art piece. You can't make a cat do something that it does, that isn't in, in its agenda and that's a really interesting trait I think. They have a healthy sense of self-interest. Just seeing the cats in this environment and, and getting adopted, hopefully, to me is like the whole reason I did, I went through all this hassle. <laughs>